In this quick tip tutorial, we're gonna take a look at the two ways that we can go about layering our drums within Impact XT. So the first method that we can make use of is, say we would like to trigger both the rim and the snare low here at the same time. We can see though that these are set to D1 and C sharp one. So we would then, what we could do is while we have the snare low selected, we can come up to the top, click on the field where it says D1, and then I'm gonna press the pad on my external controller to fill that in with C sharp one. I'll click outside of there and we can see both of these are now using the same pad or the same key to be triggered and using my controller I can trigger both at the same time. So that is the first method. Now the second would be if I move this to the left and let's open up the browser and here I have a group of snares. I'm just going to this first one is selected. I'm gonna hold shift and then click and select the third one. Now I'm going to click and drag these over on top of this pad in the upper right corner and I'll just let that go. And we can see now we have all three of those snares with this one pad. But initially they're gonna be set to be triggered by velocity. So we can see these three bars up top. If I hover at this border, then we can adjust this. And this is actually adjusting the velocity at which the uh, separate samples are gonna be triggered. So what we need to do is come to the layer mode here and we can see that that's set to velocity. If we click on the triangle, we can then change that to stack. And um, at this point, they will all be triggered at the same time. 